What's up guys, this is Nick from Part-Time Pilot. Just want to start off by saying if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Click the button, the little red YouTube button in the bottom right of your screen. Subscribe. That way you'll get notifications when I post new videos. I'm trying to be as helpful, as free as possible so that everyone out there can get good information and help with their studies. And then also, if you're not following me yet on Instagram, that's at part period time period pilot. Go check me out over there. Okay, with that said, today's video is on drag. So drag opposes the force of thrust. As you can see, here's our four forces of flight on the aircraft. Drag opposes the direction of motion of the aircraft and the direction of thrust. There are two types of drag. There's parasite drag and induced drag. So parasite drag is any force that is working to slow an aircraft's movement. Types of parasite drag are form drag, interference drag, and skin friction drag. Now we're not going to go into the details of parasite drag and these three different types of parasite drag, but we'll do that in a later video. For this video, we're going to talk about the basics of drag in general. And then you have Induced drag, which is caused by lift and the resulting wingtip vortices, I like to remember it as it's drag induced by lift. So just like lift, drag increases with velocity. Here we have the drag equation. As you can see, velocity up here in the top, velocity squared. So as velocity goes up, this whole term is going to go up and our drag is going to go up. However, it's a little bit more complex. It doesn't just go straight up linearly because we have parasite drag and induced drag which act differently in terms of velocity. Now let's take a look at this graph down here to get an idea of what we're talking about. So we have the two red lines. We have this one which is parasite drag. As you can see as we increase in velocity the parasite drag increases parabolically. Okay now we have the induced drag line which actually decreases parabolically with velocity. All right, now when we add these together, we get the blue line, the total drag line, which actually you can see it drag decreases at first with velocity, okay, up until about right here, and then it turns around when parasite drag takes over, and you got induced drag kind of leveling out, and parasite drag is exponentially increasing, right? So now it's kind of taking over, and now it starts to increase and just keeps on increasing the more and fa the faster and faster you get. So this point, this little dip point, is minimum drag, okay? Or L over D max, lift over drag max. This is a point of efficiency that aircraft manufacturers and pilots like to target because less drag means you're flying more efficiently on lift and you're using less thrust or fuel. So right here, this is a ideal velocity where your L over D is max. So just like lift, it also increases with angle of attack. So increases with velocity, but also increases with angle of attack. Now, if you remember lift increased very linearly with angle of attack until we reached our critical angle of attack or stall, and then it dropped off. So drag, it increases with angle of attack, but again, because of parasite drag and induced drag, it increases a little bit differently. It has more of a parabolic increase like so. So what this means is that there's a gap between the lift and drag curves and there's a point where this gap is the greatest. So as you can see on this green line, the distance between the lift curve and the drag curve is the maximum, not over here. Obviously this is a much smaller gap. So right here on this green line and that corresponds to an angle of attack about 12 on this chart where you have the greatest distance between lift and drag and again that is your max L, L over D for a specific angle of attack and again this is a efficiency target point for pilots to fly at max L over D for your aircraft. So if you have any questions about the very basic fundamentals of drag please comment them below. I will be making more videos on drag so stay tuned and again subscribe if you want to get a notification for those videos. Those are the next ones I will be posting. I'll actually give you a sneak peek of that. You see parasite drag and induced drag. So 
stay tuned if you have any questions on the, the fundamentals of drag and the key points of what we talked about today is the max l over d we showed that here on the angle of attack chart that there's a specific angle of attack that gives us a max l over d and there's a specific velocity that gives us the max l over d and the reason why that happens is because drag has there's both parasite drag and induced drag and that parabolic increase in drag gives us those points of efficiency that we can target as engineers and pilots to be the most efficient while we fly okay thanks guys